This is what I look like when I wake up. wake up this morning i wanted to sleep instead i rolled over and straight up pulled the sheets because when your eyes close you feel close to your dreams but when death comes man that's the ultimate sleep but reality so usually my morning routine before i brush my teeth i chug water i think it's just because it hydrates me and makes my skin not so dry there's a lot at reach to get to these california beaches with these girls asses shaped just like a peach man all this shit in my head makes it hard to sleep Creep, creep to the microphone, let a nigga preach it. Unleash the kid from black coats, it's gonna eat. At the end of the day, you have to let them know. It's hard to play with your boy when you go pro. And I'm not talking about the camera that you sit on your head. This is the chase for the bread, the chronicles on red. With the story narrated, and I hope this love is spread like jail cell, ranch ramen, and Doritos. Let's get these senos, bro. Let's change the world with the flow. Let's take a boat to the tropics. Only fuck with exotics who gives a fuck about profit. I'm trying to smoke like a bot. I don't like using that many products, so my pink eyeshadow I also use as blush. You're gonna see this in the rest of the video. Like my brown eyeshadow I use as contour and like eyebrows. Like everything. I don't like to use so many products, okay? And I repent. I said I repent. I'm just trying to live a better life so I can give to my future again. Yeah. Uh, hello. Everyone shut the fuck up, I need to focus on my freaking eyeliner. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do my eyeliner, I have to like, pause the whole world. Why the fuck am I staring? So I find false lashes to be super super heavy so I actually just use one and I cut it in half and I use one half on one eye and the other half on the other eye. Okay, don't ask me why. Also my eyes are pretty small so I guess it works. While I'm waiting for the eyelash glue to get tacky, I'm just putting this lipstick on. It's the only lipstick I use which is like a light brown, kind of like my skin tone. And I line it with the same brown that I use for my eyebrows and contouring. If I do my makeup, I usually do this routine except for the false lashes because I don't really like to wear false lashes unless I'm like filming a video or going out or whatever. And after applying a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes of my eyes, I draw fake lashes on my bottom. Wait, not on my bottom. What the fuck am I saying? Sorry, let me try that again. I draw fake bottom lashes. I don't draw fake lashes on my bottom. Okay, just saying. Just waiting for the glue on my eyelashes to fully dry and then I'm going to go over it with eyeliner so that it's not like white or reflective or whatever. So my makeup routine is pretty basic as you can tell. That's why I didn't really need to explain so much because I have plenty of videos of me doing my makeup on my channel which I will put in the cards and at the end of this video as well as the description below. But now I'm just like brushing my hair 
and just got changed into this outfit I got from Uvimi. Fucking love them. If it's not obvious already, my go-to hairstyle is half up, half down, but like the pigtail version. I don't even know how to describe it. And because I'm a Leo, I have to accessorize, of course, so I just add these bows. Yes, yeah, so that's how I turned my look from a hobo to a hottie. Hey baby, haven't you heard of me? Ha, you think I'm good, but really, I'm opposite. Trust me, it's really something to see. Fall in love and you'll be trapped for eternity. My whispers make him choke. My touch is just no joke. Hey guys, it's hobo again, and my shirt's inside out, but who cares? And I just wanted to say a quick thanks to my patrons for supporting me and making this like whole thing possible. These guys help me out by supporting me financially. And so big thank you to Rachel, big thank you to Abby, you're my true friend. Big thank you to Paul. These are just people on the top of my head. Like I will put all of the people I really, really want to thank down in the description below, all of my patrons. Thank you guys so much. Huge shout out to you guys. Gregory as well too. Thank you so much for reaching out. Can't wait to talk to you. And yeah, you guys are awesome. You guys make, honestly, my whole life possible. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Rachel, you're my fucking homegirl. It's crazy how much you guys have actually become my friends. So I love you guys all so much. Everyone else, thank you so much for watching. And just because you don't support me financially doesn't mean that I love you any less. But it would mean a lot to me if you did comment on this video or at least give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out, out a lot. <laughs> Love you guys all so much. Shut the fuck up. So I thought I would go through my mindful journal because we haven't done that in a minute because this video is so short. So I think we might, might as well. I honestly don't know what page we're up to. I think I might have talked about this page. Which I'll just like quickly skim through now because I don't want to miss it if I didn't do it or whatever, but whatever. This one says, how can you give a number to something that is constantly evolving? Only dead fish follow the stream. When we embrace the difficulties in our life and accept them as lessons, they often clear up spontaneously. I think that's true, honestly. Like when I, when I actually do like embrace the difficult moments that I'm going through, that's when they kind of like go away. Um, victim complexes are not attractive. Shut the hell up. So that's this page. And on this page, I, I'm really sorry if I've already done this page. I'll go to the next one in a second, don't worry. This one on the top, it says, I'm bored. And it says, lucid dreaming is used to experiment and learn to improve your psychological being. Definitely do try it. I'm not really good at lucid dreaming. I definitely can't really do it on purpose. Um, it says kinesthesiology here because I had this mentor who was doing that at uni and I thought it was really cool um, and I wrote it down in my book because it was the only piece of paper I had um, and then it says I like how this book greets me and I think this book does greet me like when I open it it's it's like a big greeting it says hello and stay lucid over here as well too and that is this page pardon the lighting and so we'll just get to the next page. Imagine if I did this page as well too. So starting with this page, it says, every experience in life was designed to shape and reform you into the ultimate and greatest version you can imagine yourself to be. Aristotle, 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 Aristotle. That guy, that, that really ancient guy. <laughs> um, and then it also says here, how are you? Which is nice. No wonder I think that this book greets me. Um, and then over here it says, our consciousness is not within, but consciousness is without. It is everywhere, but it is reflected on the outside. Wow, that's a throwback. I haven't written in this book in a few months. And so reading that is kind of like, oh, cool. Um, and then I think I answered my question of how are you? It says, I'm very good, thank you. Um, here, number four, heart chakra ability to love, center of chest, love, joy, inner peace. And then I have another note that says, at Dowie's. Dowie is my friend, so I must have written that when I was there. And then on this side of the page, it says, I don't fear commitment, I fear wasting my time. Fuck, that's fucking relatable at the moment. Um, and then up here it says, does money affect spiritual growth? Question mark. 
I hate getting flashbacks from things I don't want to remember. This one's like in yellow. It's really hard to read. Smiling is the way to solve many problems. And silence is the way to avoid many problems. Hmm. So a lot of interesting notes here. Smiling is a way to solve a lot of problems and silence is the way to avoid the problems. So that's this page and this is what it looks like. And I'm excited to share the next page with you. Yeah, I'm sorry if we've already gone through these pages. Either way, I think I learned something from just opening up that page. And hopefully you guys did too. Love you all so much. Please take care. Bye!